Hi, this is Grace Woolmuth, and for my AP Biology research project, I plan on finding ways to improve the longevity of nepotalactone as an insect repellent. Nepotalactone is an organic compound that is present in Nepeta cartaria, which is an essential oil that is found in catnip. It has been known to act as an extremely effective insect repellent, however, its high volatile properties prevent it from lasting longer than just a few minutes. What do I plan on doing? I plan on testing the effectiveness of purified nepotalactone as an insect repellent when, I, when used alone as well as mixed with various stabilizing additives. These fixations I plan on using are vanillin oil and coconut oil. These oils are believed to improve the duration and effectiveness of topical repellents, primarily by reducing the rate of evaporation. Why is this important? Finding effective insect repellents not only helps by keeping away annoying blood-sucking mosquitoes, but also by providing protection against insect-borne diseases such as the West Nile virus. By creating an effective natural repellent, bug repellents may become easier to obtain in less developed countries where many people cannot afford vaccines. Nepotalactone is also highly concentrated, which is good because only a small amount is needed in order to work. The current gold standard for bug repellents are products that contain DEET, which have been known to irritate skin and contain toxins that can contaminate soil and plants. In today's society, finding natural alternatives, the napatolactone, to replace these harmful synthetically produced products are all the rage. Lastly, finding ways to make napatolactone based repellents last as long as products that contain DEET be amazing considering tests have proven nepotalactone to be 10 times more effective than D. How do I plan on doing it? First, I plan on using a fractional distillation column to extract pure nepotalactone oil from catnip. This is an image of what it looks like. I then plan on creating various measured solutions. I will use water as a control and D as a positive control. The other solutions I plan on making will be vanillin oil, coconut oil, nepotalactone, nepotalactone with vanillin oil, and nepotalactone with coconut oil. I will create a T-shaped PVC tube system and then place two coffee filters on opposite ends, each sprayed with a different solution. I will be cross-testing each solution. Once everything is set up, I will use CO2 to anesthetize the wild-type Drosophila malangaster, which are the flies, so I can count and move them into the tube system. To save money and time, I might not do this and just quickly tap the fly containers against the table to temporarily disorientate them and then pour them into an intermediary container followed by the tube system. I will use about 15 to 20 flies per experiment and count how many times the flies touch each coffee filter that are affected with different solutions over a two hour period. I will videotape each experiment so I can take more accurate data and I will then record and analyze the quantity of contact for each solution to compare and determine the most effective and long lasting mixture. How much does this all cost? I approximate that it will be $150. The flies that I will need to order online come in vials of 25 to 30, and they are 765 each. I plan on ordering about seven, which will come out to be $53.55. I'll also need to order catnip, which is $25.56, and artificial vanillin, which is eleven twenty-five for 25 grams. We'll need coconut oil for $14.89, DEET for $9.99, um, unless the TPVC tube is provided, I can buy it for $5.49 from Amazon. Um, depending on whether or not I choose to use the CO2 on the flies, um, and if it's available at Pingree, will depend on if I need to include it in my expenses. Um, the coffee filters that I will need, the fractional distillation column, and the intermediary container will all be provided at Pingree. Thank you.